I want to talk to you real quick. That's a tough love spiritualist real quick. Okay. I'm a love reader. Okay. And people trust me with y'all's deepest, darkest secrets and whatnot to help you get through life. And I'm just going to say, them, their syphilis and STIs, it's on the rise. That promiscuous, that promiscuity, promiscuous, promiscuous, promiscuity. There we go. Y'all have to get a grip. Men and women. Women, stop thinking that, you know, using your sex as your value of currency. It can literally mean your life or death. This hookup culture, this fucking within weeks of knowing someone, letting people go raw. I know y'all are. Please, please. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, like, you're not going to gain anything from it. You're not. And just like you're doing it like that with them and you think that they're not doing that like, you know, like that with you and you're so special. It's not. Okay? Like, I mean, again, loneliness is leading y'all to make a lot of foolish decisions. Okay? And a lot of these men do not go and get tested. Okay? Right? And a lot of women, y'all not going to get tested because you don't want to know. Ignorance is bliss. This new thing of syphilis, it can infect your babies. Lord, like y'all, like Lord, like y'all, let's make, be careful, have some self-worth, some self-value, some virtue, some dignity, and stop looking for some, from ways to make you feel loved by strangers. Shit, I feel that the people from Atlanta that went to Houston, right, from what it's looking like, so whatever that spirit is or whatever that's going on in Houston with the women, you know, it takes two to tango, it can't all be the men, right, and men, it's only increased 9%. It's on the rise in men, but not like it is with women. There's a big difference. So just, I'm going to attach the clip, but y'all be safe. Bye. There's currently a syphilis outbreak occurring in Houston, Texas, and the health department is reporting a 128% increase in women since 2019. So these are the top three things I want you to know about syphilis. The first thing I want you to know about syphilis is that oftentimes it is asymptomatic and people do not even know they have it. The classic symptoms of syphilis, such as an ulcer or a rash, will go away on their own without treatment, so they're often either missed or confused for other conditions. The second thing I want you to know about syphilis is that it can be transmitted through pretty much all forms of sex, vaginal sex, anal sex, oral sex, and even skin-to-skin -skin contact if you come into contact with a syphilitic ulcer. These ulcers are usually painless and they can be located inside the mouth, inside the vagina, or inside the anus, so people may not know they have them and you may not be able to see them. The third thing I want you to know about syphilis is that it can take quite a while to show up on a test after you've been exposed to the bacteria. It can take up to 30 days after you are exposed for the syphilis blood test to turn positive and in some cases even 60 or 90 days after exposure. So what I recommend is being tested 30, 60, and 90 days out from a potential exposure. And if you're regularly sexually active, I recommend simply being tested every three months. Now there is a lot more to be said about syphilis and I do have other videos on the topic, but these are the top three things I think everyone should know about this illness.